she she definitely got the sentence she deserves. It's one of the longest sentences prosecutor Katie Reed has worked for. 21 life sentences plus 800 years after teams of investigators found now 28 year old Natalie Wagner sending explicit videos through Snapchat of her own kids. She would be asked to do horrendous things to her three year old. She would do it, transmit the video and then you would get their response of how pleased they were with what she did. According to Reed, in the spring of 2022, two tips came into Snapchat that someone was openly advertising that she's having sex with her children. Snapchat sent the information to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, finding an IP address that tracked the crime to Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie police joined the investigation and searched her home and social media, finding they say at least 20 videos they found filmed primarily in this master bedroom. Wagner was charged and convicted on 83 crimes ranging from incest, use of a child in sexual performance, and transmitting child pornography. She really thought she'd get away with this? I think she did. And I mean, going through the production, some of the things she's telling the people are, make sure you don't save this, you have to delete this. Reed says Wagner was getting paid for the videos. The fact that she she was selling them for nothing next to nothing. I mean, she must have been getting some sort of satisfaction from this herself. In most cases involving crimes against children, Reed says they'll often offer plea deals to keep children from having to go through trial. But this case was different. Absolutely no deal for this woman. Yeah, she she needed to be locked away and throw away the key, essentially. The judge handing down the maximum possible sentence. It's disturbing to say the least that she would just give away her children's innocence for 10 bucks. Reed also says the people requesting the videos will also be investigated. Now the focus turns to making sure the children's future isn't affected by this horrific past. Reed says both are with new caretakers, the three-year-old now in counseling and the one-year-old hopefully too young to ever know what they went through.